live at 6. The death penalty is abolished in Nebraska. Today, state senators voted 30-19 to override the governor's veto. The vote last week was 32-15, to 15, so two senators were convinced to go the other way. Brandon Scott has more. John and Mallory, today's, do what, today's vote was indeed historic, but it also raises questions like what happens to the men currently awaiting execution on death row? Are their sentences converted to life in prison? Do they remain separated from the general prison population? Just after the vote, an official with the State Department of Corrections told me that these are issues the department will seek guidance on in the weeks to come. But abolishing the death penalty doesn't just impact the convicted killers awaiting execution. It also affects suspected murderers like Roberto Martinez Marinero, accused of the brutal stabbing of his mother and throwing his brother into the Elkhorn River. Douglas County Prosecutor Don Klein was pursuing the death penalty. Now he can't. Because it'll definitely have an impact on, on what we do and the cases that we have. Klein was also pursuing the death penalty for Nico Jenkins, convicted in 2013 of four senseless shootings that left four people dead. Now Jenkins will live the rest of his life behind bars, a punishment that Klein believes doesn't fit the crime. I think it's important for us to have that as a punishment on certain cases. Uh, whether it's the habitual criminal or the death penalty, I think that's a punishment that, that's necessary when we're talking about dealing with certain types of cases. WOWT 6 News also spoke with two sheriffs and both were disappointed. In fact, one said that the death penalty has been an effective tool when negotiating with suspects, with investigators often agreeing to drop an execution threat in exchange for information leading to accomplices or bodies. He says they've now lost that bargaining power.